This segment sponsored by Sartera Technologies. I am here at Sorterra Technologies located in Marco, Indiana. They offer a one-of-a-kind patented AI technology that actually sorts and recycles metals to help keep manufacturing and distribution here in the United States. I'm taking you on the inside. Let's do it. And joining me now is Michael Seamer, who is the CEO. Hello. Hi, How's Jessica. it going? <laughs> Thank you, and welcome to Sorterra and Markle. Listen, I'm happy to be here. This is such a cool facility, being able to be in your plant and mm -hmm. see what you have going on here. Yeah. yeah, so let's start off with an overview. Give us information about Sorterra and what you all do here. Okay, so Sorterra is trying to solve a problem of mixed metals by unmixing them using technology, something that hasn't been able to be done in the past. And yeah. so this problem has existed for a long period of time mm -hmm. where when things are at end of life, the, uh, they get shredded and the material gets mixed and then the material is no longer valuable. Uh -huh. And so using our technology enabled processes, we can separate out the metals, we can then reuse them here in the US instead of sending these metals to uh, uh, Asia. Yeah. And so it's been exciting. It's a green tech company. Mm -hmm. It's a domestic supply chain. Mm -hmm. um, it's It's been so fun to see this come alive in the last year. Yeah, which is so cool. Um, just what you all do and how important it is that you do it here. And so let's take it back a step. Mm -hmm. Metal alloys, what type of product or substances would qualify as such? So we're focusing first on aluminum. And okay. aluminum is used in all kinds of things. Yeah. It's used in now in cars to lighten them up, it's used in construction products, door frames, windows. Aluminum is used in so many things in our life. Mm -hmm. But what happens at the end of life, when these things are at no longer useful, we tend to shred them and then we send the metals overseas yeah. because we can't use them. Uh -huh. And so what's happening is, is then we're now devaluing perfectly good metals mm -hmm. because they're mixed. Yes. And so with our technology, when we separate these metals out, now they have value and they can be kept and used right here in the United States. Yeah. And so all the metal that we sort goes and is sold right here and sold. goes into new products. Yes. And when you do it and put it into new products, then you don't have to go make new aluminum. So you mm. don't have the carbon footprint that mm -hmm. you have with making new aluminum. Yes. And it, it's just been exciting. And there's no bad environmental impacts that, to what we do. Yes. So all benefit. Yes, and so usually um, the manufacturing of new metals happens here mm -hmm. in the United States, correct? But this process that you all, this is um, one of a kind patented mm -hmm. yep. AI process that you use is first of its kind. It is. What makes it unique from what's already out there? So this problem of the mixed metals, as we said, has gone on for a long time. Yeah. But what we have been able to do is using AI and some special sensors is we now make it practical to be able to sort them. And that has just never been able to be done in the US and at scale. Yes. The metals that are typically sorted by humans in, in the East Asian countries where they sit and they try to, by hand, by hand try wow. to sort them. And so metals that are made right here in mm -hmm. Fort Wayne get sent to Asia and yeah. instead we keep them here, we reuse them in the United States and they're now valuable. Yeah, that's so cool. So let's talk about the process a mm -hmm. little bit in the journey of a metal. So let's say a vehicle. Mm -hmm. So what part of the car, is it the whole car that gets shredded when it's done yeah. being used? Yeah, so okay. I've learned a lot about this in the last <laughs> couple of years myself. So at the end of life, whether it's cars or your washing machine or okay. other products, mm -hmm. we shred them. Okay. And then it's very easy to take a magnet and take the steel out. So steel has always been very well recycled, but it's the balance of the materials, the aluminums and copper and brass and stainless, all these things, it's difficult to use because they're mixed. Okay. So we put them in a shipping container and we send them overseas. Mm. And so with Sorterra's technology, we can sort them at economically and at volume, and all the metal then stays in the United States. And wow. we're doing that right here in Markle, Indiana. Yeah, so let's talk about the importance of 
separating them in their use after separation because one would think, well, if a car has all these different metals with it, you shred it, can't you just remelt it and build a new car? But you can't, right? Why is right. that? Well, because unfortunately, when you melt it, you get this soup that doesn't have value to anybody. Mm -hmm. And so it is kind of sad, but there's no good way to then use that resulting mixture. Mm -hmm. And so that's been the whole problem, that Achilles heel of recycling that has gone on for many, many years. Yeah. So when we separate it, then they can go back into fenders and go back into doors and go back into mm -hmm. hoods or go back into window frames or other um, other things that we buy every day. Yeah. And, and it really goes to show, you know, that we're not always quite a, aware of like what happens at the end of something's usefulness. Right. And anything that we can do to help stop that reuse helps the environment. So every pound of aluminum that or other metals that we recover mm -hmm. is a pound that doesn't have to be made. Okay, yes. Right? And so that's where the carbon footprint reduction comes in because mm -hmm. you're not now remaking the metals. Mm -hmm. And then the domestic supply chain is, is that we're keeping the metals in the U.S. Right. And so it's a win-win. It is, and it sounds like an elevated recycling process. So you're doing good for our environment. Mm -hmm. And though you're using technology such as AI, that's not taken away from jobs because you're actually right. bringing jobs to Indiana. So talk Absolutely. about the job growth and the opportunities of you all moving here. Right. So in this case, what we're trying to do is sorting material you can't do without technology. So there would be no jobs without the AI. Yes. Because the AI enables this to work. Mm -hmm. And so this has actually created about 60 jobs in Markle right yeah. now. And we'll be pushing uh, about 100 by the end of the year wow. as we continue our ramping up. Mm -hmm. And then we're excited to build additional plants and continue this process. Yes. So very, very, uh, it's been fun, I have yeah. to say, to create something. Uh, this wasn't here a year ago. Right, so let's talk about this beautiful facility I mean, there's so much happening. As I mm -hmm. said, you have so many machines on this side, on that side. So kind of walk me through what the experience is like here. Like, what do you get done here? So what we get done here is we take in the mixed metals mm -hmm. and then those metals go through the processes. And at the end of the process, like you can see behind me, are the bins that we can custom make what ah. goes into each of the bin. And those custom blends, we sell them to customers that want to directly melt them and make something new. Okay. And so uh, the, our customers have never really had that opportunity to choose recycled material to meet their specifications. And yes. so that's really that, maybe that icing on the cake is not only are we separating it, but then we can tune it for a particular customer so that it gets its best use at the highest value. Mm. Reuse it to the, you know, the very best. Yes, and you're able to ship to places that manufacture things in the mm -hmm. state, yep. regionally, nationally, and mm -hmm. internationally, right? Absolutely. Yes. And so we're looking forward to building additional plants because, yeah. you know, it, the, if we can be more local, it saves costs from yeah. transportation, but the technology works. Mm -hmm. We've been uh, working on this for quite a number of years yeah. and it's it's so fun to watch and I hope you'll get to stay a little bit and, uh, and yeah, see. Yeah, we have to see the process. Okay, so let's talk about the future. Mm -hmm. So you, of course, being a CEO, has the responsibility of the vision, right, and uh, of running it. And I know that there are plans moving forward. So what can we expect from Sorterra moving forward? So really the the two big things is, is, is the Markle plant is sorting aluminum. Okay, and our technology works with all metals. Mm -hmm. And so the first step you're gonna see us is build additional plants to do, to nibble away at aluminum. There's about 10 billion pounds of it available. Okay. And so um, we wanna go after get it, getting as much of that back being reused. Yes. And then we're going to go after some of the other metals. So copper and brass and, and uh, some of the more rare metals that are specially being used in EVs are also being shipped outside the U.S. Wow. And so we want to go and, and keep those here too. So, yes. so the aluminum is starting to go and then we're going to move into the, the other metals mm -hmm. for a domestic supply. Yeah, that's awesome. And I know another thing that's happening with you all is you are hiring. We right? are. You're hiring different positions. So yes. like you said, you want to fill up more positions by the end of the year. Yes. And so if someone is interested in learning more about your openings or about what you do overall, where should they go? Well, of course, you know, the social media websites, mm -hmm. they're welcome to come stop in and visit us. Mm -hmm. 
but we really, we have been so fortunate with the Fort Wayne area. Yeah. Uh, Fort Wayne, the Markle, um, just great quality folks. Mm -hmm. We have uh, engineering positions and uh, maintenance, production, and some admin. Yes. And we have just been so impressed with the workforce. Mm -hmm. uh, we have found that this greater Fort Wayne area has been a great place to have a business. Yeah, it is. It's growing and it's exciting. Mm -hmm. So con congratulations to you well, all thanks. for being here. And I'm excited to see your growth. Well, it's exciting being a green tech company right here in middle America. Yeah. Well, thank, thank you, you so much, Michael. Jessica, it's been a pleasure. <laughs> thanks. If you'd like more information about Sorterra Technologies, we'll have their website listed below and I'll see you after the break. This segment sponsored by Sorterra Technologies.